Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yosa Boho. Welcome, it is Thursday night. We are gonna do something a little bit different tonight. I am gonna take you to my booths. So those of you who have requested to see the booths and to get a little bit of my take on the booths, that's what we're gonna do tonight. Just a little bit of a backstory. My Aunt Beth and I decided to open a booth at the very worst time possible, <laughs> right before the world shut down in February of 2020. <laughs> we found a room on the second story of a different place and it turned out to not be the best decision. I think part of it was because the world shut down and part of it was just low traffic and oh my gosh, being on a second floor and taking everything up every time we wanted to bring something in was a little crazy too. <laughs> things you gotta think about when you're gonna open up a booth. After learning all of these things, we decided to move our booth into the Shops by the Lake in February, March, beginning of March in 2021. After opening our first booth at the Shops by the Lake, we decided to open a second booth, what we call our Yoso Whimsical booth, which is packed full of an eclectic mix of cool and colorful things. In about October of last year, we decided we were going to open up a temporary booth, a third booth, just for Christmas stuff. And we did that. And we had a pretty successful Christmas season because of it. At the end of January this year, I decided I was going to go in and do a little bit of a revamp on our original Yoso Boho booth. And I would pull my Christmas stuff out of the third booth. And my aunt decided to keep that third booth. So tonight's adventure will be all of that. And I will share that whole process with you. And if you are in the area and you do get a chance to visit the Shops by the Lake, please be sure to stop into those booths. We have booth number 54, booth number 108. And then my aunt kept that third booth. And that number is 127. So be sure to visit them all. Okay, let's go check out what a day in the life of a booth owner looks like. Let's go. Hey everybody, we have all kinds of inventory back here. We are gonna go do an overhaul. We're gonna focus on the Yo So Boho booth, my original booth, and we're gonna revamp that. And I'm gonna take a bunch of stuff in and pull a bunch of stuff out. And so, are you ready to do some work today? <laughs> We're gonna be working today. It is ugly out this morning. Probably what? Just over freezing? It's like 35 degrees. Oh, 40. We're getting started here. This is the Christmas booth that we are tearing apart. My aunt's already been in here, so a lot of stuff is out of here. Uh, some of this stuff then is just mine. Got some packing materials and totes. We're gonna clear it out, and then we're gonna move on and focus on revamping the other boots. Will that fit in the top of here? It might. We, if we fold it differently. So we have pretty much all the Christmas stuff here in this one tote. And we have a little spill over here. I gotta grab those two pieces of art off the wall. We're gonna move this card display here into another booth. So that is where we are. Okay, so we are in the boho booth. I'll have to do a before with some other footage because I have already dove in. It is noon, we are tired, and we're nowhere. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be raw about this. This is the challenge of owning a booth. You can only kind of visualize so much and do so much measuring, but this is where we are. So this is a new piece here. These pieces are just being kind of moved around. I'm trying to maximize the real estate throughout here and 
it's just proving to be difficult. I haven't even brought anything in yet, and I've got some donates and some things going out, but there's still a lot more to do, so. That's the update, y'all. All right, it's break time, and right across the street is where we like to get lunch. So we're gonna go in here and reconvene and brainstorm since it's afternoon already and we're gonna run out of time pretty quick. Okay, so here's where we are right now. I am finding that I have left some stuff behind. I have a big canvas that was gonna go back in over here, but we've got some new pottery happening. Art has not gone on the wall, so it's kind of strewn about. <laughs> Um, but the configuration works. It's different now. You can't walk in and around it. You can kind of walk in and take a look at this stuff. And this stuff's more kind of focused on boho. There's a little bit of cottage core and a little bit of whatnot just thrown in the mix. Um, and then we did leave the stove on this side. So then this side has a more kind of linen kitchen um, feel to it. I put some of the galvanized stuff up in here and I have to find my teacups. I have teacups that we're going to go in here. This case needs help. Beth and I got to do something creative with this. We want to put like a dark background or something that'll kind of offset some stuff. But we did get the linens all back in here. This nice wire piece looks really nice with the stove with kitchen stuff on it. And that's it. Let me step back here so you can kind of get a look. Different. It's different for sure. People will notice that it's all been changed out, and that's the point is to make it look completely different. Your eye can't settle on the same thing that you saw last time you were here because, unless it was the stove, <laughs> everything else around it has changed. Here's where we are with the Yoso Whimsical booth. I still have a sign that I wanna bring in and hang up off of this corner um, so people know that this is also a Yoso booth. So this is kind of looks like it did, although it's a lot of new stuff and a lot of stuff moved around. The shelves are nice and packed, although I can move in some more stuff on some of these shelves. The new mugs have all been updated and they look great. We've added some things here. Beth has a lot of fun stuff. Oh, since we haven't been selling anything out of the bottom of this, we decided to put toys down here and bright, colorful things, which are usually toys, um, <laughs> because they're kids' height. And, you know, maybe kids will see them and pull them out. So that was a good idea. And you'll see we've added some Easter things, kind of passed them by all those bunnies. So it's nice and packed and refreshed. And let's go check out where we're at with the two other booths. Beth now has it set up and I thought this was pretty brilliant. So she had this like sideboard inside and now it kind of comes all the way out to the edge here. She's backed up shelves to it. She's got a nice linen quilty area. And then here's where she's at. She's got so much wall space that she can just have at now. Although that's cool. I didn't see that little lizard guy. So we moved a couple of things around. We took a big green table out of here and put it over in the boho booth. She's got this awesome little stack now of stuff. Oh, she's got a pottery piece that I didn't know about. Hmm, I'll have to look at that. 
one of these little sewing drawers full of ceramic. Are those stone? They're stone. And she's got prices on these that are way too low. Way too low. Holy moly. I might buy them for that. She's got this awesome magazine rack. And I'm jealous of this. She bought this here at some point. She put it up. And it was funny. She had a couple of things on here today. And she's setting up and they're already gone. So I wouldn't be surprised if that piece goes away pretty quickly. So she's got a lot of room in here. You could probably put a chair, a piece of furniture. Yep. And lots and lots of wall space. All right, let's go take one last look at the boho booth. Okay, and finally, we have a couple of things that I meant to bring in, like I said, that are missing here, but we definitely have a nice kind of distinction between uh, Yoso Boho, which is kind of to the right here, you can tell. Got some cool new Boho things, some incense. We did move the stove over two inches so we can get this back in here. Um, I don't really want that macrame hanging there, but it is for now. And now we have another area to kind of walk in and peruse here. I like the layout, I do. Here's the teacups I said were missing. We got some in there and then some stuff was put in here. And I actually like the way this looks. I still think we need to do something behind there with some contrast, but I'm pretty happy with everything. What do you say? Think it looks different and cool? Oh, it definitely looks different. Yeah, way different. Yay. It's different, doesn't it? Needless to say, it was a pretty exhausting day. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So if you're thinking about opening a booth, just know that it's a lot of work. And I am truly lucky to have Earth in my corner. He's definitely become the muscle of my operation. And he will jump on the other side of a dresser or a shelving unit to help move it around. And he will schlep boxes around for me. And it's a lot physically to do. My aunt is incredible too. She schleps all of her stuff. She gets a little help from her kids, but it's a lot of work. So just keep that in mind. Some other things I would recommend if you're thinking about opening a booth is location, location, location. We did not have good traffic in our first booth. We lost money in that endeavor. I think too, it was part the economy, everything closed down. So it was hard to make money when nobody was actually going out to shop. <laughs> keep that in mind though, location. What does the foot traffic look like? Are there a lot of people coming in and out of there? You also have to keep in mind though, the competition. You know, we're in a place of 150 booths. So we wanna be one of those booths that really stands out and compels somebody to walk into them and to spend a little bit of time in them. Because anybody who is there knows there's a lot to see. So they sometimes hesitate to spend time in any one individual booth. They're kind of just moving and scanning. And that's the reason why you wanna change things around. You wanna get in there and move stuff because that same person who's a regular that comes past your booth is gonna have those points that they're gonna look at. They're gonna kind of scan, they're gonna recognize things, and if they don't see any change in those things, they're gonna move on. It's amazing what will happen when you just move some main items around because if their eyeball moves to what they normally see when they scan and it's now different, they may stop because up oh, something's changed and maybe there's something new here. So that is a big recommendation is to spend some time just to move things around. You'll hear other people who have booths say the same thing. You get what you put into your booth. I need to take that knowledge and apply it, definitely. Um, it's a little bit harder for me. I live about an hour away. Um, I get in there to work once or twice a month. So I need to get back there another time, another weekend during the month and, you know, take the time to move stuff around. It definitely pays off. If you have been thinking about doing a booth and you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'll put my email right here. 
Um, I'm good for answering questions if you have any questions. I will definitely be promoting Yvonne's next booth talk, but if you missed the last one, I am going to connect that up here and down in the information box below. Go check that out. I think we spent a couple of hours fielding questions and talking about our strategies and what we've learned so far about being in the booth business. I'll definitely let you know when the next one is going to be, and I will share that here on my channel so that you can catch that as well. All right, as I promised, I want to show you a little bit more of the Shops by the Lake. We're just going to kind of hit a little section of it so you can see some other booths. Maybe you can get some other ideas ideas and then I'll come back and I'll say good night. Let's go check out some other booths. It is Thursday morning and we are here to work our designated days and I'm just going to stop real quick. Made a few changes in the back here with some art. It's not exactly what I want because I haven't moved any of the nails <laughs> so it's a little wonky but they're up there and that'll have to do for now. Like I showed you, we've got some fun little Easter stuff. Um, a few things for Valentine's Day. And then starting to bring in just spring in general. Let's move this little guy up here. Surprise, these two are still here. Looking pretty good. We got all the toys down here. Card rack is now in the front. Looks nice. Still got to get some frames in here and put some cards in them. Look at this pretty piece. Little blue opalescent. That's new. Look at those cool cases. Ooh. I'll have to check and see what colors I have. That might fit into my collection. Here is the full look at the Whimsical booth. So Beth was in earlier. She got a couple of more things moved in today. Look at how welcoming with the little rug going in. And she's got a rabbit up on the wall. She's got lots of rabbits up on the wall. You've had this forever. Yep, that was in my dining room. I know. Oh, I remember when you got her. <laughs> What else is over here? I remember when you got this little piece. Yeah, so cute. That's a good price on it. Oh, look at your toys on the shelf. Look at you putting all your information on there. That's clever. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. Now, how is somebody gonna find your little pig all the way down there in the corner? <laughs> You keep saying nobody wants to buy your pig, and then you stuff them in the corner. Ooh, those are cool. Look at all of that. That is pretty. That's a good price. $10 for that big thing? Wow. All right, it's kind of quiet here. It's still the morning. Um, we're up front here where the cash registers are. We have a little puppy back here. <laughs> um, but this is where we're stationed today. I'm working at this little cash register here. But this is where everybody comes through. And entrance is over there. But we're going to do a little bit of walking around this morning and show you the place. We're going to start here on this side and show you a few booths. All of these are vendor booths and all the vendors are walking around. Um, if it's their assigned day. Look at these. These are fun. <laughs> Those are neat. Made in China. Five ninety-two kitty cat on four feet mug. 
So they're all $6 each. Oh no, they're gonna get split up. I don't like that. That guy's creepy. Look at his teeth, he's missing a tooth. $20, genuine leather, alligator, okay. This is our friend Maria's booth. It is stacked and packed. I don't even go in there. Like, the rows are really narrow. So she has a pretty large booth. It's a double booth is basically what it is. It's like two booths without a wall. But she has, I mean, look at that. Almost all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> stacked stuff. Let's see, let's go down here. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Good. So some of the booths, in, in fact, one of ours has a case like this. We've chosen not to keep ours locked. We don't have anything in there that we're worried about theft for, but a lot of people have theirs locked. And then you just have to ask for a key to get in here. I like that elephant on the ball. Look at those paperweights. That one's neat. I like that one. So some of the booths are a little bit kind of more curated than others. Oh, you're brave. Beth has, don't make it out, you'll have to send in a search party. Beth has climbed in there and <laughs> everything in there is 20% off. I see a sign out, out here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. oh, I see some swung vases up there. We should probably check out. This is just like a Taiwanese five finger for 39. This is neat. This is a Viking piece with the applied bottom. Everything here is under $5. So you know we hit that one every time. See what's in there. This one is technology and things I gotta see what this is made out of. It looks like burlap. It is burlap. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. 30 for the pair, 20 for the big one, and 10 for the small one. I love the way they look. This piece I absolutely love. Let me see if I can zoom out here. <laughs> there we go. This is all on a Lazy Susan. I think that's so cool. She's got $800 on that. Antique library bookshelf. This is one of my favorite booths right here because there's lots of cool primitive stuff. Well, look at how this looks with this, these little tiny boots on this old bench with that green paint. That's just a very cool look. Look at how cute they did this little tree with all the valentines on it. <laughs> little clothespins. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's creative. Little stack of old boxes down here. There's just so much cool stuff. Is this a chalkware piece? Oh my gosh. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> She's $58. Alright, so we rounded the corner. Now you can see this goes all the way back to the back of the building. And there are aisles that shoot down this way. This is another bargain booth. This is Alex's booth. Alex is one of the owner slash managers. Yeah, some empty shelves in here. What is this? I see a linen with some red. Are they broccolis? What are they? <laughs> I don't know. It's a bird, right? Okay, do it this way. It's a bird. It's a bird and broccolis. <laughs> How much is it? Five dollars for a bird for a bird with broccoli. That guy's cute like him he's got those coy little side eyes that always get me in here what is this oh oh my i love this this is red wing 
Oh my gosh. Look at, there's the flower frog. And here's the bowl. Uh, we're going to have to look this up. I love that. $28. Look at how awesome that looks. Oh. <laughs> is this little girl up here about to pick her nose or is she just trying to be coy? This one. That is a neat piece too. Yep, it's Hall Art Pottery. That's so cool. Look at his stylistic little fishy handle. Man, is he neat. He's in awesome condition too. Didn't capture the boho booth in the very final um, stage. So we're gonna walk over there. So now we're walking like towards the cash register. That's the cash register and our booth our very first booth is right behind. So there's the cash register, there's a wall. So there's booths on that side and this side, and we're on this side, right smack dab in the middle here. And it looks quite a bit different, more open now because we took this dresser out of the front and now we have more area kind of display things there. And these are actually, they're attached. So if I want to change these up eventually, I'm going to have to either paint them, which I really don't want to do, or maybe just paint the shelves or maybe cover the shelves, which I did have like this lighter kind of runner here on a couple of shelves. I might be able to find something like that. They do pop off a little bit more. Um, but I think they look great from the front with the lighter wall in the back. And then I've put all of my Buddha in here. So I was missing this canvas the last time we were here. I put that behind. We've been moving some additional pottery in. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Different. Come to the shops by the lake and shop our booths. There's so much to see here. I'll capture some more at a different time. All right, everybody, I'm gonna end it here. I hope that something that I showed you or talked about tonight might help you in any of your decision-making around having a booth. Um, like I said, email me if you have any questions or you have any requests for uh, future booth videos. All right, I hope to catch you in a little bit here tonight, 8 p.m. my time, Eastern live me and mom we will have some fun do some chatting sell a few things uh no pressure to buy just come and hang out and have some fun with us all right everybody hope to see you tonight until then take care see you then bye